we're back. Oh, and I lost the green screen. Dang it. Oh, well. What a shame. I literally just fixed it, and now it's green again. So I did not fix it. Well. Anyways, oh. anywho, welcome everyone to the Monday Night General Q&A live stream again. General Q&A. General Q&A. Ask anything that you want. Fish related. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, Fish related. As always, we'll give it a few minutes for people to roll in here. Thanks for coming. I appreciate everyone, and uh, hello to everyone. Hello. Hello, Paul McCarthy. Welcome back to the Dream Team, buddy, if you're still here. Man, if only someone would have given you a warning. There's a dog here. I'm not just being weird. So. Why do I always get kicked off at the <laughs> start? I'm not sure. You get kicked off? What do you mean? What do you mean? Been waiting 18 months for this stream to start. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Well, here we are. What's who drinking? What's I who hope drinking? it was worth it. He's drinking a sparkling ice. With ice. Caffeine. That means the diamonds. Raspberry flavor. Beaver anus you know? flavor. Beaver anus. That's yeah. where the raspberry comes from. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm all right with that. <coughs> God, I'm choking on All right, so, Kenny, yo, 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 I'm back from dinner and enjoying the my golf view from the hotel room. Oh, oh you got the golf? sounds miserable. Where are you? Where are you? Are you in Mexico? There could be many golfs. Or Texas? Or what was the fish in the thumbnail? That's a good question. I don't remember. Oh, I have no idea. Arlo. Uh, I don't remember which one I put on there. Your nose is so aggressive uh i can check ah uh, static tv okay so bum, bum, bum. i do have something i want to talk about once a few more people get here um bob is drinking guac Wait, no, keep it. what okay. i don't know guac. definitely not drinking guacamole <clears throat> but it's like bob is drinking dot 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 guac so i'm really confused uh, I said Florida. Florida earlier, so the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, Florida. Okay, I'm sorry. How did I miss mm -hmm. that? What are you doing in Florida? You boys I like Florida? Mexico. I say that to the dogs every time I feed them. <laughs> I don't know why. Interesting. All right, so. <clears throat> um, it is an Episto. I don't even know. Like, I saw it for a hot second, but then for some reason it won't, like, stay on my screen. So I oh, I did know. use an Episto. What Episto did I use? That's a good question. Let did me look. the Viejita? I don't believe so. I think it is. It does look. Hey, <coughs> go lay down. Go it's not for literally like 0. 0.5 second. Um, I can look. Oh. oh, I wish I could drink some Kool-Aid. I freaking love Kool-Aid. I love Kool-Aid. There's a place in Sacramento that I, where I lived like two blocks away from. Mm -hmm. They had, mm -hmm. you could buy a growler of Kool-Aid. They made their, their own special Kool-Aid. That sounds healthy. Oh, it was just like 8,000 pounds of Here's 84 pounds of sugar. sugar. No, it was, I went one time and I was like, you know what? YOLO. I even, I think I even said YOLO and it was like way past YOLO days. And there I bought. There was never YOLO days. <laughs> I bought a grape and I bought a cherry and I did not care. And I felt, I spent like $30 on Kool-Aid and I'm walking home with like these growlers. Everybody's probably thinking I'm a normal person with beer. I'm like, no, this is Kool-Aid. All right. It's even better. It's Kool-Aid. My mom wouldn't let me drink Kool-Aid in our house. Her best friend lived next door, my godmother, and I was allowed to drink Kool-Aid there. So you imagine how much time I spent next door. A lot. A lot. So. <clears throat> oh, I... Oh, what just happened? I don't know. That was odd. I don't miss... Okay, I don't miss Sacramento. I miss certain things, like, that a larger city, in ta like, holds. It's not just Sacramento. It's just, like, I had a million thrift stores. I had many fish stores, but Sacramento on the whole, sadly, I did not like the direction Sacramento was going for a very long time, like regardless of anything. It just, like I've okay. said it before, so I don't like it. It's not great. I had to look this up because it's not in a pistol. What is it? Many oh. of you are familiar with, and I keep, and I never remember the number. Uh, it is a pistogramma species D24. That sounds so cool. D24. So <laughs> like uh, Corys have their numbers, Plecos have their numbers, so do Apistos. And this is D24. Manicassius. It's I, I, actually, you probably have to pronounce that. Can you see it? 
I can see the D24. <laughs> M-A-N-A-C-A-C-I-A-S. Manacacus? Manacacious? Mana... Hold on. I'm just going to look it up. A pisto D24. <laughs> Very uh, uncommon species. Ooh, yeah, you know, the, uh, looking at that, that's a pretty picture of it. D, yeah. If you're curious about the thumbnail picture, just Google a pistogramma D24. It would appear that... Uh... Do we have a bingo? Bingo. <laughs> bingo bongo. All right, so what I want to talk about, uh, I cleared out one of my tubs. We had about... Yeah. We had like four days of sun, and it was amazing, it's and so I nice. wanted to be outside, <clears throat> and I was like, you know what? I'm going to work on one of my tubs. So it's one of the big ones. It's the one that's four feet by six feet by like two feet deep. I don't even know how many gallons that is. Someone can do the math. Uh, clean it out, setting it up, but I can't decide what I want to put in it, and I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. So part of me wants to do shell dwellers and Lake Tanganyikan. Uh, I feel like... First of all, I'm going to put white sand on the bottom so I can actually see fish, uh, which I'm previous years of tubbing. They're black. You look down, you can't see anything. So I'm hoping some white sand will fix that problem. So there's going to be white sand. It'll help. And I just think like start out with like 20 shell dwellers. We'll probably have thousands by the time summer is over. And I think that would be really cool. Um, and then I would also do like some cyprochromis or some paracyprochromis. And those would be, if you've never seen a pair, uh, a cyprochromis, they're beautiful. And I think a top down, I think they would be really cool. Uh, so I'm either thinking that or I want to do an apisto tub and get like a dozen of the same species of apistos and then maybe like a hundred chili rasboras or strawberry rasboras, any of the micro rasboras, uh, because obviously I don't want something that's going to eat the fry. Mm. Um, I, I can't decide. So I might put up a poll. I might not. Uh, can't decide that either. Can't decide that either. But I'm curious on, on y'all's thoughts. Should we do? Sh should I do shell dwellers or like a South American apisto? <laughs> Can I decide? Looking for ideas, suggestions, fish suggestions, or even maybe completely other types of stocking. Yeah, throw in but I don't want to do what I've always course. done, which is just throw in some... Random white clouds stuff, and yeah. let them do whatever because uh, i also want to do plecos i want to put some plecos in it regina i was near el dorado county like 20 minutes 30 minutes <clears throat> not far went there a lot oh there went good all right i'll do the poll <laughs> i knew he was gonna do the poll i knew oh, the, the whole big thing because my keyboard's I like 10 feet in front the of me poll was coming i knew it Ah, I'm all for it. I'm not against it. I'm just saying I knew it was coming. You knew the poll was coming? Jeez. Wow, I really walked right into that one, didn't I? Good on me for that. <laughs> no holds barred. Wait, I can't do polls anymore? The brochard I have fry. Candy's brochard I have fry. That is very exciting. I am so glad because, like, that is confusing that they didn't. So I'm glad that, like, we shook something loose. I like it. I like it. I do miss in and out Yeah, I do. That's true. I can't deny. I can't deny that. <clears throat> I am, see, for the tub, I, I would like the shell dwellers just because I'm a big fan. Big fan. And I feel like that would make, they All make right, a lot of started. babies. Oh, here. All right, then. Oh, can I? I can take the poll, too. I forgot. I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll let that run for a couple. I don't like doing the polls because it pops up on my chat and then I can't see. Yeah, it does like pop in. I'm kind of a noob at this live streaming thing. Uh oh. Hmm. What happened? I don't know something in Eldorado County. <laughs> okay, but Eldorado County had the best like. It was like a fake cop show. It was so good. Um. Oh no. What was I just? saying about the mountain lions <clears throat> someone got got dude that's very sad what's very sad is i don't even want to mm. read it but i bet you they got the mountain lion too and that's what you know, like if i ever die to an animal please don't kill that don't animal, kill the animal. If, you ha if i have one dying wish it's to please let the animal that killed me go like i just can't i'll never understand the point of it i'll never understand mm. it matt oh, m says the pistols and 
And Suda McGill's. That could be fun. That's cool. That's, I'd so here's that. the problem, though. So the reason I'm thinking like chili rasboras or, you know, price. Like some of the dwarf barbs, maybe, like the golden dwarf barb. Um, I love those guys. Like a, a hundred Suda McGill's. I can't afford that. Could I afford a hundred strawberry rasboras? Yeah, probably, honestly, because I get them for really cheap. Um, I mean, a pistols are way out in front. Way out in front. Uh, and there is actually a new strain that I saw. It may not, it may be it's not new, but it's new to me. Epistogramma cockatoides yellow. Mm. So there's the, the <clears throat> reds, there's the orange, and now there's a yellow. I like yellow. Fruit. And I saw someone selling gold, which I don't know if that's just another name for mm. the yellow variant. I feel like it is. But... Aquatic Moose said, speaking of puffers, my red eye, red tail puffer is doing well with other community fish. Yeah, ours is ours is in a community and she does swimmingly. She does really well. She didn't care about anybody. Mm, yep, yep. I actually forgot about that puffer. Because she just bops around, doesn't care, doesn't bother anyone. Bops around. I, it's not even close. I could like end this poll right now. Wait, oh, really? I mean, oh, yeah. Or I could leave it open until 2 a.m. and it'll flip. <laughs> Ew! Uh. <laughs> 70 to 30 in favor of Apistos. So the next question is, what Apistos? Oh. Hmm. Ramphonics says jelly bean tetras. I feel like jelly beans are a little too sensitive to be outside. Probably uh, not one I would put outside. And I, the other thing is I need something that can go a little cooler, uh, which like multis can go down to the low 70s. Um I'm not. I'm not too worried. I'm not worried at all about Lake Tangy and fish getting cold at all. So, uh, Vahedis. I'm not sure if that's pronounced right, but if I could find a true Vahedis, I probably would. Would, but most of them, to my I'm not, to my knowledge, are just McMasterized, uh, being sold as Vaheta. Uh But I do have McMasterize currently. What's my biggest group of Apistos? Probably the McMaster Eye. Or the Nice and I. Now we have a. I think there's only. I think there's a trio of Nice and I, oh, but there yeah. should be like six McMaster Eye. Are there that many? Oh. oh. Myrtle. Yeah. That's so sad. Um, it's very sad. What happened? Myrtle passed away. And like yeah, I'm here. looking for the comment. That's right. Keep going. Two up. Up two. Go up. Keep going. Right there. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of spamming because some of you. Some of you aren't in other streams. Please take a moment to read. Longtime Fish Fam member Myrtle uh, passed away on 316. That is certainly... Um, it's very sad. I never know what to say in those kind of situations. No, 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 um, nothing. Keep I know at one point we had talked about him writing a piece for me to play on piano. Um, if you don't know, he, uh, he he's a 21 years old. He's a composer. Uh, writes absolutely beautiful music and uh, passed away. Uh, last last weekend so very, pretty very pretty sad. sad and he's been around the fish fam for just ever so <clears throat> thank you liquid zoo for um uh yeah. sp spamming that no that's uh but if you knew myrtle and would like to go sign his um obituary it would be much appreciated as uh, i'm sure his family would love to hear the kind words uh i just got a pair of hongsloy loving them oh we have a pair of hongsloy too mm -hmm. Um, yep. although they're kind of unfortunately down in the bottom in the corner, they so they don't the get as much love as they should. But yeah. a lot of times when you ignore fish, that's when the magic happens. So yeah. I'm just hoping they're doing their thing down so there. You're looking and see babies, and you're like, how long have you been in there? Hmm. I don't think you need to be sorry about that. Whips World says, all right. Bob, 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 I know you're not a big fish kind of guy, but what Shelleys or Rockies would you go with if you wanted something to kind of work with a red frontosa. Oof. I'd probably go with Altos. Mm. Um, Alto Lamprologus get pretty big and they're pretty big bodied. Uh, they just take forever. They're the slowest growing fish in the world, uh, but they're very rewarding. I've kept them on and off. Um, and honestly, if I did go with Shelly's in this tub, I would probably get some for the outdoor tub as well. Uh, I've done Julie to Chromis to death and so trying a different rock dweller would be fun. Um, also, like a uh, maybe even like a feather fin, but I don't know. It's such a big pond. Well, 
I mean, not a pawn, but tub, that I could really do just about anything. And it does look like uh, Shelly's are slowly making a comeback. We'll leave this pull open for a little bit. Oh, did the wet spot already sell out of wad eye? Jeez. They didn't have very many, to be fair. Oh, didn't they? I didn't. I, just that one 10 That's all tank. they had was that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there wasn't very many in there. But, I mean, they do. They should sell quick. Like, if anybody. I was going to say, I know I really only post, like, a lot of videos of them on my Instagram. But, seriously, they are mm -hmm. stunning. Kenny says, what's better, 10 gold rams for $40 or a proven, proven breeding pair for 30 Uh The breeding pair is a bit better in quality. Do you know how old they are? Uh, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you're not getting some retired breeders. Yeah, or like ones that are on the verge, you know what I mean? I would rather have a young fish and grow them out. I would take the 10. That That's what I would do. I like to find out, you know what I mean? Like, who knows what's going to happen? And honestly, like, rams grow up so fast. Yeah, uh, they could I, go I, past I, it quick. I feel know? like the 10's a better deal. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think and then so. you'll have three groups of spawning. Yeah. You can have you. I was gonna say you probably will get a couple pairs out of there. I would assume, like unless it was just crazy like bad luck, but I feel like you, I feel like you will. What do you feed your red eye, red tail puffer? Any issues with teeth? Bloodworms. Bloodworms. No, no, no issues, issues with, with teeth. teeth. They're kind of like the spotted Congo puffer, where I don't worry, and I've had enough of them to know like that they're they're good. It's all good. I've never had luck with the pistols breeding. Well, once you get outside of like. Cockatoides and McMaster Eye. Uh, I mean, I, those are like the two easy. Those those should be spawning for you without even trying. Um, once you get out of that realm, you may have to start doing things to get them to spawn. Um, depending on what your water's like where you are, but oh. he's very needy. Yeah. For some reason. At least he's not just sitting there staring. People have me. purchased over 170 trees, and I think he would have loved that. That is super cool. Yeah, that's very, wow, that's nice. 170, huh? Uh, Candy says the co-op just got a bunch of red-eye puffers in. They are awesome, both male and I prefer the female. Like if I had to pick one or the other to keep, I really the females seem to be a little more chill, and I really like the pattern. They have a beautiful pattern, and they're just little round bubbles, little bubbles. Uh, Matt says, I had a Pistogramma Brellii opal from the wet spot that bred really easily. Nice. Yeah, like if your water is what they want, they should oh, always no. breed pretty easily. But Easy. some of the more exotic ones are definitely yep. going to be a little harder to breed. Uh, there's aggressive. a few species that do like to be down like six and under to spawn. But to just keep them, you can, they'll, they'll do just fine in neutral, even a little hard. She feels, oh, Thrive versus Easy Green. I've never used Thrive. Wait, what? Uh, Salient Aquatics said Thrive versus Easy Green. Which do you feel is better? I've only used Easy Green. Um, I know that Thrive has more, uh, quite a bit more nitrate, my nitrates in it. So Easy Green being geared more towards the average Aquarius um, kind of is geared for the person who's going to have you know, fish poop providing the nitrates uh, because you don't really want new or the average person putting extra nitrates in their aquarium. So that's, 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 um, uh, as far as I know, that's like the big difference between the two. Um, but I, I, I mean, if you know what you're doing, any, both are going to work just fine. That's really funny. Sid tuning in for my sister's house today, pulled in cause I had to poop <laughs> reasonable. If it's closer and you gotta go, my cousins used to do that all the time. They'd like all of a sudden run in. One of them, there's I had two cousins. They just run in and like go straight to the bathroom, or they'd run in and throw something in the dryer, or like run in and just tell me to make them taquitos. Those all those things happen. But yeah, the pooping I feel like is reasonable. <laughs> it's much more reasonable than the taquitos. But. I watched Dan's. So Davo says Dan has a neat new epistle called Banshee at the video. I watched that video. I don't remember seeing that. Is it the Banshee? Fourteen forty. -E let's go. I can't see. Arlo, All right. I Those love are you dearly. Go lay down, bud. Go lay down. Arlo, go lay down. What is this? Please. Go I can't be mean to him. You're gonna have to tell him to go lay down. All right, wait. I'm waiting for the name to pop up here. Arlo. <laughs> okay, yeah, those are the Benchai Inca 50s. Those are. That's what I thought. Um, the Benchai is like. Yeah, they're not new. They've been around for a long they're time. Stunning. 
Um, I actually beautiful. bred those like seven years ago. Oh my god! Uh, I'm just happy I wasn't trying to. Um, and they just spawned in the aquarium, and eventually ate all their babies because back then I didn't really know what I was doing, and uh, now I know. So, anyways, uh, we have two females, and we need to find a male. Yeah. Um, we did lose the male, so that was that's very sad. very sad. He was a beautiful fish. He was, God, he was pretty. Very pretty, yeah, but it it's my, it's my, it's by far Devo my favorite Apisto, mm. like by far. I like the Personata, but that is a top three. Like a Personata, Nice and I, Van Shy, those three. Oh yeah, if you, if they're ten for thirty five and twenty five shipping, I would do that, Kenny. That seems like a really good deal to me, at least. Uh, what substrate do I use in my outdoor tubs? Wait, where'd that comment go? I just lost it. It's Uncle Smiley's Aquariums. He, what substrate do you use in your ponds, if any? And we're just going to now use substrate. Yeah, <laughs> so I've never, I mean, I've used, so like before I moved and had soft water, like I would put a Ragonite in the tubs. Um, but I'll, I mean, I still put a Ragonite in the tubs, but not as substrate, like very small amounts because it's getting rainwater. So it needs a little mineral content in there. Uh, but we use sand from Home Depot. Uh, I never remember the name. I feel like I should have a picture of it on it the is, wall because people ask me all it, the time. Isn't it? It's, uh, it's secrete and it's the medium. I think it's just medium sand here. I'll double check. It says like medium commercial. It's $20 Arlo. for a hundred pounds. No. Arlo, goalie down. Thank you. Cause I can't, you know, I, I have trouble. <laughs> goalie <laughs> down. Uh, I know it's the secrete. It's S A K R E T E. Um, are panda loaches hard to keep? Not in my experience. Um, just know that they don't stay black and white. They lose the color and they turn brown. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're not pandas forever. I said it before. You don't see adult panda loaches for sale in stores. You see babies or juveniles. Uh, did I ever end? Did I ever end up getting a pistogram at Eliza Beef? Eliza, huh, whatever. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have that one yet. <laughs> it's not that hard, is it? <laughs> It is when the when it it's really small and you yeah got yeah light yeah no I understand. I understand I understand I understand okay where is this why sacrete is how you say yeah, it. yeah sacrete secrete not like secrete but sacrete yeah. I'm secreting yeah, sand yeah that's that is <laughs> does not sound pretty does it oh I should probably put sand has anyone found a cheap gravel that has so hmm. there is a landscaping yard here. Uh, that sells, it's called the Mexican Pea Gravel, uh, and it's very consistent. It's about a, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch. Uh, various colors, but it's all dark colors, which is nice. Um, <laughs> do not buy the cement sand. <laughs> oh, my God. So, also, don't, uh, but maybe don't you could look for something like that. Sand. Do not buy play sand ever. Play sand even is so says, dirty. Even if it says it's washed, it's a lie. And there are chunks of like hard. It's just bad. I think it's just the. Have medium. I seen the new Fireball Corridors? I yes, it's Corridors High Fessy something. Uh, yes, I have seen them. A lot of the photos are going to be <laughs> exaggerated, but they're still definitely a very beautiful fish. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear, but yep. not. <laughs> like. Uh. Yeah, I I would. I was thinking about this the other day because I was looking at somebody's website. I won't say who, but they sell fish. And every single photo is like just ridiculous. It, it's like the the saturation a hundred percent on like every photo. It's like so oh, like even worse than my thumbnails. Like I do the thumbnails on purpose uh, because it's supposed to be flashy, right? You to get people to click people, on it. Yeah. But I would never, never would I ever do that on fish Can I was we not selling. Advertise this fish is <laughs> this is what it's gonna look like ever in real life because it's not. And I was so close to making a video on how to spot this because oh. not a lot of people can spot it. Like not a lot of people know. Yeah. They just you know you, they think people are trusting and you think. Face value. It's it's very <laughs> disappointing, and uh, the trick is to look at the other stuff in the photo. Yeah. Um, yeah, when the plants are like. A very unnatural. It's not hard to make fish look re very good. You yeah. turn down the blacks and you turn up the 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 uh, the colors, right? It's not that hard. So it's very easy to look at photos that have been that the black has turned all the way, like maximum. I just know the fish that I've kept when I see things, and I know I've had that fish as an adult, and I've seen it fully colored up, and then I see these pictures, and I'm like, never in its life. Like you can't even. It's not even realistic to think they might look like that. So it's false advertisement. The elusive sand. Never seen it in Nebraska. 
it's I, different Home Depots have different stuff. Uh, so yeah, like there might be some in your market, there might not, but you could always check other Home Depots. I think it's just the medium sand. I think that's Salient. what it is. Aquatic says, what's your favorite plant? We were just talking about this the other day. Oh yeah. Weeping willow trees. Like any but plant? But you didn't expect that. Any plant or aquatic plant? <laughs> I'm sure he means aquatic plant. You're so annoying. But I I love weeping willows. If You know, those are my favorite <laughs> trees, probably my favorite plant. Probably, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of like... But if we're going specifically on aquarium plants, it's Anubias by far. It doesn't even matter which Anubias, any Anubias. What is the name of that? Uh, mine is... It's a carnivorous plant. I edit my fish videos and photos to make them look more like the way they do in person. Stupid iPhone camera. I hate I hate it. Oh, my God. Please don't get I him hate started it. on the iPhone. Can we not do that right now? <laughs> Can we not? And I hate when I'm filming something and it changes <sighs> the frack. color while you're filming. That is so annoying it when you're trying to sometimes. edit. Sometimes it does do that. Sometimes, sometimes every time. Oh, my Lanta. 75% <laughs> of the time, it does it all the time. Oh, well... And it's very annoying. I don't know about that. Very annoying. What is, is the freaking name of this thing? Yeah, I, I I do love Needle Leaf Java Fern, but it's not my favorite. But I do love it. I, I just, pretty much for aquatic plants, I love different types of Anubias. Like, I know that's kind of a boring answer, but I feel like as far as hardiness of plants and versatility, that Anubias gets a lot of stuff done for me. And I know it doesn't fill mm -hmm. out the background, but I used to use, I had Kumbamba, and it used to grow like crazy for me to the point where I was throwing it out in huge clumps every week because I had so much of it. But, uh, I mean, for a background plant, I'd have to say that. But just for an overall plant, if I had one plant I could ever have again, it'd probably be Anubius. I still have Dan's video playing. I got to turn it off and get distracted. I'm, like, over <laughs> here watching it randomly. again. Nodobranchius Gunthrai. Gunthrai. I would, again, like to thank everyone who's been clicking on my affiliate links lately. It's yeah, very rewarding. It's really awesome. A lot of people have been buying a lot of fish lately, and I'm very appreciative. Ooh, crazy shots, bull bitus. I don't know how to hood hoodlotty. Yeah, but I love many types of bull bitus. Basically, any fern. It's underrated, and, and it's kind of it can be a little more difficult. That's why, but still, I love it. Can't keep Java fern alive, Regina? Huh? What? You're kidding. I don't really care for Java fern. I'm not a big Java fern person. I put it in my Severum tank because everyone's like, "It won't eat Java fern." I'm like, "Bull honky." Sure I did. like Java fern, but it can go south. I don't like it when it goes yeah. south. It, it's real gross when it gets gross. Um, crips are good. I really Speaking like of uh, using crips my affiliates, well. someone just bought a fish. So yeah, thanks, there you guys. go. Thank you. What kind of fish? Oh, it's. I don't get to yeah, see that. I know that's. I didn't know who it was. Oh, Rocky Miles had a weeping willow in our yard growing up, and a hurricane blew it over, and it mm. went through my bedroom window while I was on my bed. This is getting worse and worse. We were sad it had to be cut down. I'm, I'm glad you're all right, or you were all right. Jeez, that's scary. Matt that's says, scary. Dan's been getting some cool killifish in. I've only kept clown killies, so I need to change. I mean, you should get at least Normans. Like, clown killies are cool. Normans lamp eye killies lamp are eyes cool. Are the best. Those are my favorite. Um, yeah, any lamp eye killie. Just because they're West African. I had to throw out some diseased Java fern. I've uh, had to do that with Anubius, weak. and I just, it's so frustrating. Sucks. That sucks. I had a nice big piece, and it was the rhizome was starting to rot. And as soon as it, I threw the Gotta whole go. thing out, like you just Gotta can't go. save it. It'll make a mess. I've had it happen before when I just keep clipping off the rotten parts, and it just keeps spreading. And so it's just, and it smells horrendous. Oh, dude, it's so bad when plants. It is that. worse. <laughs> it's it's gross. But it might be the worst smelling like thing. Fish. The wor it might be the worst smelling thing in the hobby. It's to be gross. honest. What's worse than prime? Than safe? It's worse. It's worse than leaving my frozen food in my car for three days in the hot mm, sun. That'll yeah. Ugh. and what's bad about it is it's so hard to get that smell off your hands when you touch oh it. Oh my god, it lingers for the longest time. Kenny Chindler with the one dollar super chat. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We sure do. Oops. Willow trees are amazing. I've got some fron I cut some fronds off, put them in the ground, and they grew. One is taller than our barn now. I, I used to see them all the time as a kid, and now they're never anywhere. Worse than a dead snail, yes. Yeah, probably. I will say it's very comparable. Like, completely mm -hmm. different smell, but as far as, like... What is the grossness? Yeah. I, I feel like we could debate. <laughs> like, you could have an honest debate on what smells worse, Gross. because they both just are the worst smelling thing ever. 
it's it's bad like this snail smell i can get that off my hands yeah you know prime all that stuff yeah i can wash it off prime but a nubius rot oh man I, that was on my fingers forever yeah it was the worst and it, the feeling of it, the when you touch it and it just like, oh, my God, I'm very like sensory. Like when I touch ugh, like texture, that is horrifying. Like I'd rather hear nails on a chalkboard all day long than feel that melted Anubius rhizome crap. Like it's just disgusting. What's the largest fish I ever kept? Well, if I'm being a smart ass, uh, rainbow trout, uh, as far as aquarium fish, so probably my Mabu puffer. Oh, yeah, that would be the biggest. By far. I haven't kept all that big. The biggest one I kept was a chocolate cichlid that was like 10 inches. But she's, I mean, she was deep bodied too. So. Big girl. I just jumped in on that. I don't know who you were asking, but I just decided to weigh in. The smell of sea chem iron also takes forever to go away mm. on your hands. Oof. Yeah, iron based anything can really seep in. I had a de dead snail slice my finger the other day. I'm pretty sure Mystery Snail Gardens was behind it. Oh, God. What? That sounds horrific. Here you go. Right here. Check this out. What? Oh. Oh. oh the other one's in the fish room. Right Fail. There. I thought this said life's better with a, with a snail, but it says life's better with a sword, sword tail, tail, which I don't agree with at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> I do love pygmy sword tails my pygmy cute. sword yeah, tails. Are, I like those a lot. But like your regular sword tail, I could do without. No, go lay down, buddy. I love you, but go so, lay down. So, go lay down. Go. Gnats. Ugh. I hit. Go whoa, whoa. I'm getting assaulted by crochet. <laughs> mm. Well, that was aggressive and uncalled for, wasn't well, now, it? Now, well, you're gonna accuse me of assaulting you. I'm gonna assault you. That's assault, brother. I love when Curtis and Kenny argue on here. I think it's one of my favorite things. Yeah. Or like take shots at each other. Kenny. Kenny. My name is not. Kiel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't watch South Park. My common pleco is 14 inches, and thank goodness he stopped growing. Ooh. I upgraded tank four times to keep him. How Oof. big is your tank? Just like, just curious. Yeah, they get they get big. Good for you for at least upgrading your tank for your pleco, though, because most people get them and keep them in the same 20 gallon tank. So. Cameron, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Don't forget to hit the like button. I don't think I mentioned that yet. Uh, not, I'm not. Hello. Just signaling out you, Cameron. I'm speaking to everyone. Do not forget to hit the like button. Arlo, we you're appreciate back it. again, buddy. Hi. Rotten raw potatoes are horrible. That's true. That's how oh you my. smuggle things. You can die. Oh, so potato. That's killed people before. It, there is a real story. Did where... you cook them? All right. Who who was the cook? They, they weren't cooked. They were oh. raw, and they got well. They didn't get rotten, but they get, they turned green, and they put out a very very poisonous gas, and they killed a whole family. Like it was a, in the basement because there was no aeration. It was gotta watch those potatoes, man. <laughs> like stuff's no joke. Delicious side and a killer. Uh, so. Guy says I'm. I'm assuming uh, says I'm getting some apisto trifasciata is what I'm assuming he's trying to not get mm -hmm, autocorrected mm -hmm, for. Mm -hmm. Got a forty gallon. How many would you recommend? I'd probably do six. Yeah, that'd be fine. I would start with six and wait for him to pair off. Arlo, go lay down, buddy. Go on. Death by potato. Candy, it's a real thing. We got to be careful. There's enough danger in this world. I don't want to get killed by something I love. t -Shot says, Bob and Chelsea, if you could keep a 40-gallon breeder community tank, what's going in it? I have several of those. Well, so. pick one. <laughs> um, I don't have a fate. I can't even think of which one. Actually, yes, I do. So I have the Laticara species Upper Autobapo in with the Wadi and the Corydoras Loxazanos. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's got to be my favorite 40 gallon community right now. So, just a larger medium pair of cichlids with a, I think we have 12 watt eye, and then there's six Corridoras in there. Lots of snails, lots of like, but that's a very high functioning tank. Everybody seems very happy. The fish have already spawned. Yeah. My biggest fish is a koi. Oh, oh. those are big. So yeah, that's my answer for the community. <laughs> uh, mine, I would have obviously some sort sort of dwarf rainbow fish. Mm. Um, if I could do pygmaeus, I would do that. If I could not find pygmaeus, I'd probably do like Skull Creek, Melanotania, Sahuluensis, Skull Creek. 
If I couldn't find that, then I would go down to Suda McGill's and I would find whatever Suda McGill's I could keep. Uh, I would probably also do pygmy hatchet fish. I would probably do um, a pistos of some type and some corridoras and probably one fancy pleco. That's a good. I, well, that was a very thoughtful answer. I just stole from a tank I already have. So fair is it. Okay, Cameron, I think you asked this before, and I'm sorry because I forgot. Can you guys talk me out of planning a big tank? I am wanting to get a big enough tank that houses Bolivian rams, a trio of angels, three schools of tetras, a school of quarries, and a bristlenose. How many Bolivian rams? Because, yeah, I think, like, you could do and, that in, like, a uh, 75. Leslie Perry gifting five memberships. That's Thank you nice. so much. That's very nice of you. To Benjamin, Alex, Matt, Guy, and Steven, we hey. have a member stream every Monday, 3.30 p.m. PST. Every week. So come hang out if you want to. There's also lots of members videos uh, if you're so inclined to check those out. And I wouldn't talk you out of that tank. I'd say you could do a 75, but ideally, if you could do, like, if I could, you're willing to do whatever, 125 would be perfect for those fish. So that's my final answer. But a 75 would work also. I would just be mindful of the amount of Bolivians. I'd keep, like, four of them. I'd probably get six and wait to see if anything paired up and then see how everything goes. You could keep four to six in there. Angels will stay up top. Tetras, depending on how big they are, you could, I mean, I don't know what type of tetras, but you'd definitely do that. <laughs> Back again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to the other side. Death by potato. Well, <laughs> I mean, there. I guess there are worse ways to go, right? Hey, Alex. Oh, Hold I'm on. way behind. Jeez. You're slipping. You're slipping. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, cause the others weren't house broken. What? My biggest fish is either my six and a half inch rose line shark or a six and a half inch, uh, angel fish. Hmm. <laughs> Never come up for the free ones. Hmm. You gotta be getting close cause it's based on, uh, Participation. Yeah. And you comment a lot, Ramphonic, so you got to be close. Sharon, Kenny, and Curtis here. <laughs> um, I really want to get Pseudo McGill, Cyan Duralis, anyone know a source? I used to. Uh, what's his name in Hawaii? I used to breed him and sell him. Uh, but I haven't seen him in so long. Uh, I don't know if he still does, and I don't even remember the name. <laughs> Cyan Duralis. Well, I just, uh, I know someone will just say it in chat. I'm, um, I'm laughing at <laughs> like their conversation. I haven't seen Cyan Duralis for sale in a very long time. Not a lot of people want to mess with Brackish. It can be. Uh, it can be. I don't want to say it's difficult. It's just you have to be mindful. Uh, Five Bolivians would work. Yes. Alex says no. Uh, Moy Island uh, or Jardine. The the Skull Creeks are my favorite by far. By far my favorite. So, no, not those. <laughs> no problem, Cameron. Yeah, Leslie, it was gnarly. That's the exact story. That is correct. <laughs> that was it. Do it you still have my dart frogs? No, they disappeared. Just gone. Overnight. Disappeared. The tank wasn't left open. Uh, I tore oh, apart the tank. About this, yeah. um, I literally took out every plant, every piece of hardscape, everything. I went over it with a fine tuned tooth comb. It, it, it just, they were just, they're just gone, and I never knew what happened to them. That happens. Uh, Alec, I haven't forgot about you. Um, as far as sending you the the uh, platies, oh, although the platies, yeah. um, I might not be able to send you Hawaiian because they're just not producing any. So uh, the other ones that I got from Dan, though, uh, done pretty well. The yellow and orange ones, whatever their names are, I forget. Uh, those ones are doing really well. Yeah. I've got lots of fry for those. They're pretty. I mean, like, and I'm not a big platy person, but they are pretty. Which ones were those? Sunrise, I think. Sunrise Variatus, I think. Yeah. Because I kept wanting to call them Sunset. I think that's what my issue was. Sunrise, Sunset, whatever. Whatever one are forty dollars on his website. Yeah. Yeah. Fancy, Fancy sunrise, sunrise hyphen platy. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, rotting potatoes, man. Who knew? The silent killer. Uh, Curtis, member for 53 months, says, I may or may not have just bought a new Steam Thought <gasps> shirt. I guess I can't get rid of him now. The e-commerce is booming. My one sale like, of the year. Yeah, really. Nice. 
Uh, if you want to retry, go with Dendrobates tinctorius. That's what I have about two and a half inches, so you don't really lose. Yeah, those are nice. Cobalt variety. Those are pretty. I used to have little fake ones when I was a kid. Rocky Miles says, could I put a single Episto in a 20-gallon planted community, uh, tetras, et cetera, with a mono shrimp? Yeah, you could even do a pair if you wanted to. Yeah, that would be a-okay. But, yeah, absolutely you could do one. Oh, you live in Humboldt. Guy lives in Humboldt, California. Anyone suggesting you're a swaps or conventions? Oof. That's up there. Um, there's not a whole, like, because Arcada's right there. I'm not sure... I'd have to look into that. The closest I could say that I am sure of is Sacramento, but I know that's not close. So, I mean, you're, that's too far to just be driving. So I would have to look into that, but I don't know anything off the top of my head that far north, but I could be wrong. Maybe if there's any other far northern Californians, they could weigh in on that. Uh, would have been a clock, but, you know, <laughs> I could never put the clock back on there. I could never do that to Nisi. The one and only person to ever buy a clock. Oh. And I still have my shoes, too. My steam fire clock. Oh, yeah. There's one. Custom. No, I sure. got them both. Oh. <laughs> like, where's the other one? I found the other one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew where one was for a very long time. Can I pet your baby doggy? Yeah, but I wouldn't call them babies to their face. Although he is... He is the, the runt the of the light, litter. The lightweight over here. I can, I can literally pick him up. He was on the back of the truck, and I picked him up. As if he was nothing. He, and he folds in like a little... Yeah, look. See? He just is... He compartmentalizes. Like, he's very foldable. Malleable. And he likes it, too. That's the thing about him is he really enjoys to be, like, curled up on you. So. And he's over it. He's like, okay, this is awkward and I don't like it. And he's gonna... That was graceful, Arlo. Good job. Better than I thought you'd do. He, Normally, he just falls over. No, he's he's I not know. bad. He's pretty like light on his feet. It's impressive. Yeah, 110 pound shepherd. That's a big dog. That's a big one. I like big dogs. I like all dogs, but I prefer like I like to have big dogs because I like to play rough with dogs because it's fun. Yeah, I don't want a dog that's gonna get hurt when I body mm -hmm. slam him off the top yeah, rope. I want them to think it's fun and not be like. There's also events listed on Fish Fam, but obviously mm. just the ones we've been made aware of. Doberman's 95. Yeah, he is not 95 pounds. <laughs> he is not. My grandmother's say, Doberman was 110. If I had to estimate, I'd say probably around 80. Yeah, he's probably that's probably right. 75, 80. Because Chance is almost 70, and he's, he's definitely bigger than Chance. I mean, God, then I'm stronger than I thought. I don't have a bob shirt. I have a co-op shirt, a wet spot hoodie, and that Oscar shirt from John. Well, that, you need to round out that collection, don't you? Before it goes away forever and you can't I'm get it I'm offended that you have a shirt from John. I and know, and I was going to say that one from John must hurt a little How bit. How dare huh? he? He's got one from him, but not you. No, I love John. I don't care. Yeah, my grandma's Doberman was giant. 110 pounds is big. She was a big girl. Big girl. Now, Beefcake over there, I don't know how much <laughs> he weighs. <laughs> He is beefcake. Every time I see him, the way he lumbers about. Beefcake. He is beefcake. And the way he he like swats his stuff he when he like, runs. <laughs> it's so funny. He doesn't only swat at stuff. He swats at Arlo. Like, it's so, I almost died. I got it's like a video of it. the only dog that I've ever had that swats. Arlo will walk by and, and Braxton will just slap him in the face. <laughs> and like, and it's so funny because Arlo will just kind of be, and then it'll start going. And then Brax, he'll go away and then Braxton will slap him again. And I'm like, this is, and it goes on for like 10 minutes. And it's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's, they love each other. Like, Bob, I got a pair of powder blue rams coming in. You're going to give them a go. Have you ever seen them before? No. It's like a gold ram with electric blue fins. I have. So... If you're yes. talking about the gold face blue ram, uh, I've had I've had those. I haven't seen those in a while. I've had uh, these. I've never heard of pow powder blue rams before. This is I've they had them at Aquarium Depot. That's what it looks like. So they yeah. look like the gold face blue. That's rams. That's what it is. Okay, so That's yes, I is. have kept those. Not for a long time. They're really pretty. I mean, mine sadly did not thrive. I had trouble with mine. They did not do it. They did well for like a few months, three to six months, and then they just did not do well past that. Uh, and speaking of events, I heard that Danikin Aquatics is doing something in Portland, but I didn't get an invite, so uh, I don't know much about it. <laughs> just saying. Uh, you know. I was not invited. <laughs> I did not Play get down. an Play invitation down. in nope. the mail, so uh, I like my invitations to come via snail mail. 
Mm. Ideally. Braxton. That way I'm like, oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> Just Braxton. kidding. Come here. He's snoozing. Oh, Oh, Cameron said he just got a Bengal Maine Coon mix, okay, eight pounds, and then get gets him. so big. I love Bengals. I think they're super cool. I also like Abyssinians. Abyssinians are probably my favorite cat. They're very cool, and they're very sweet. Oh, now everybody's involved. I know. Well, I was the one that called him over. He went to you. Come here, buddy. I just works. And I just ignored him. I didn't even see him there at first. Hi, come here. I was just talking about you. Oh, he, you're getting drug over there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Although normally he does like to position himself right in between us, like right here. Come here. Oh my God. See, and here's Ugh. the heavy one. Yeah. He's, he's like a sausage. I mean, he's got a very, <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're all right. Uh, Mitchell said Rams are starting to get the funky names like God. yes they are just stick to a few different Very words uh, and you have a new Ram type no I have noticed that too where I'm like stop adding I've, I've said it about several different retailers where specifically they just start adding these random names to things and I'm like where are we getting these names these aren't even na common names I've ever heard of before for anything so like where are we just I'm just going to start adding names to things okay. if anybody can do it I mean right, go get no I won't because it drive me crazy go. but still you know what I mean nope. wrong way Go. Playing it real loose with the names. I don't like it. Oh, see, they're knocking around the green screen now. You caused all of that. that I know. I'm not complaining. Well, I'm just letting people know eh. why the green screen is. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Mm -hmm. You heard me. I, did I, Mitchell? <laughs> we built for I... comfort, not speed. He's pretty. He's probably <laughs> the fastest dog, though. That's what's crazy. He, You would have... It's, no idea how quickly that dog, when there's food involved, how quick he can get from A to B. When they're running around, so I mean, Chance is the fastest, but it's amazing how fast this dog is for how big he is. Yeah, it's, he is quick. He, he's he, not overweight or anything. He's just a big dog. He's just a big guy. Would people actually? Okay, Jose Davila. Davila. I'm just surprised I haven't seen those Rams before. Yeah. What so Rams? they were oh, the, very the popular. I want to say, like in 2018, they were like everywhere. Uh, and I ended up getting six of them, and then I gave them away, thinking that I could just give them, get them whenever. I didn't give them away; I did a trade, um, and then I'm, I've just never seen them again. Mm. They get pretty big. To be fair, they get never, bigger than like a. I noticed they get larger because they're actually. I've never looked for them, but. Mm. Would people actually do shell dweller tanks or Madaka rice fish tubs if popular YouTubers didn't tell them they should? Um, I don't know, but. Do you smell that? No. One of them just farted, and it is horrendous. Oh, thanks a lot. I don't want to stop to try. Okay. I'm, just... I'm looking at the ground thing in one Yes, poop, I think but... they still would. With Madaka, I don't really want to speak on shell dwellers because I haven't kept enough of them, and nor have I ever kept them outside. But with rice fish, the, I, if you want my advice as someone who's kept them, they should be kept in ponds. They should be kept in tubs. Th that's the way they're in, they were bred to be kept. So I think that... They sh I think it's very responsible to tell people to keep them that way, but I can't really tell you what people do one way or the other. You know what I mean? Like, I think that a lot of people get ideas and inspiration because that's kind of how YouTube started. People do <laughs> videos to give ideas and inspiration, but I, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't speak on that other than I think that with the rice fish, they should be kept in tubs. So people should be told that. Uh, meet and greet at Kay's Aquarium here in Portland, <laughs> 11 to 1 p.m. Oh, I got it. Yeah, now you got it. Jeez, that is foul. <laughs> it might have been Could, me. Who was that? It might have been me. <laughs> if that's you, we're going to the hospital <laughs> when this is done. Like, we're going to the doctor. Urgent I mean, care. it was the dog. It wasn't me. I would I never do something it. like that. <laughs> uh, if you are buffering, it is on your end. It isn't happening for me, FYI. There you go. Who's buffering? What? Oh. <laughs> Danikin already mentioned that's Bob's code that he just farted. <laughs> no, I know when he farts. Blame it on the dogs. Yeah, his farts don't stink. It's like annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. Is it? It is. Well, not really, because it'd be worse if they did. But I just got to be honest. Hey, Caitlin. Hello. Has anybody seen Orange County? Fresh Catherine O'Hara. Freshwater Hello. fish like the Rams are starting to get like coral names. Zoanthids have crazy names. Look them up if you haven't seen them. I, I compare it to shrimp. Like, how many different variations of orange shrimp can there be? 
it's so annoying to me that's why I do scientific names that's why I try so hard to just do because I want to know exactly what it is and that's why I get so mad when I get sent the wrong thing because that's happened so many times on where it said a common name you know and didn't have the correct scientific name because it's some random common name so who knows what this actually is I get so mad farts equal Anubius rot I think Anubius rot takes the cake i've never even smelled a fart as bad as i can smell i ran flag fish in a tub one year that uh i lost it where'd it go did you see it uh i ran flag fish in a tub one year that and probably some darters about all that can handle up here oh mountaintop up here yeah up there in a mm. tub i bet can't do that for very long huh but yeah flag fish that's cool flag fish are cool something um a secret history living in your fish story says <laughs> Guys, when are we going to stream together? Well, if you would read your messages, <laughs> you would know, wouldn't you, buddy? Of course, I'm not really one to say uh, anything. The Fish Guy 5, what tempers do you all set for your quarantine tank? It's usually just like room, room temp. temperature. Yeah, which is like 75-ish, 76. Yeah. You'd be right around there and you'd be fine. I wouldn't do it too hot or too cold, but... Actual fish question from Caitlin. Have either of you kept glass cats? Yes. I have not. Uh, we have some. Oh, we don't we have like. We have some Debosii right now, uh, which are in the same family, I believe. Similar. Uh, but they're not the same thing. They're not see through, but mm -hmm. they're very. Their much movement the same thing. is like similar. Yeah, they're very closely related. Right. Um, but I like glass cats. I think they're cool. Every time I was looking for glass fish and I'd call one of our fish mm. stores in Sacramento and be like, hey, do you guys have any glass fish? And they're like, yeah, we got glass cats. And I'm like, I didn't say glass cats. <laughs> I've never done glass cats just because of how fragile they are. Yeah, they're pretty sensitive from what I understand. They pretty much like they're not treated very well in the supply chain. Mm. And by the time catfish. they make it to us, they've been horribly abused. They get just dosed with salt. Um, that sucks at these exporters like it's like mud there's so much salt in the water it's crazy um so yeah i don't know i don't know why it's it's just glass cats they're they don't do that with every fish i but. love see-through fish though i think see-through fish are very cool that's mm -hmm. why i love glass fish and other things like, well we have the um glass bloodfin tetras i love those i think they are super cool I went up to the island this weekend to see Jason with Redfish Bluefish. His new place is amazing. Nice. Ow. I think the PS have glass cats. Can't remember. Hmm. Anyways, I've never... If you've had long-term yeah. success with glass cats, I'd love to know because I've never heard of someone having glass cats for more than like a year. They seem to just always die off. Hmm. Kenny said, do you believe the color of shrimp... Oh, God. Blue color shrimp would impact their survival rate. Yeah, it could. I mean, it could if they're see through and they don't stand out and they're, you know, they're probably going to have less of a chance of being eaten. If they're oh, I guess bright. I can end this poll, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. End a poll. I guess it's going to so be yeah, a pistos. It could, Kenny. It could. It's going to be a pistos. Are you saying? All right. Right. By a long shot. Now I have smaller tubs, so I can still there's do. There's other tubs, yeah. There's other. But tubs. this is like the big, the big one. Ah, son of a biscuit! I have had my current six glass cats two years. I don't believe you. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shut up! I'm kidding. Golly. <laughs> is it, but is it one of those scenarios where you started with like 20 and those I are the, the don't few that it. survived? <laughs> so like what? You didn't keep all of them, right? Like the, some of them are dead. <laughs> he needs this. All right. Give him this. Some of them are dead. Shell dwellers are not better than a pistos. I, I hate to say it, but they're just not. Yeah, I, that's true. Strictly because there's what? Five species of shell dwellers we have access to and there's a hundred... Just, There's how many epistos we have access to? I think you get a different type of interaction from epistos than you do with shellies. Shellies are a little more in tune with each other, whereas I think epistos pay a lot of attention to you. At least ours do. Leslie aware. says, my glass cats lasted 48 hours. 
I believe He's you. He's happy with that answer. I believe you. We'll allow it. I'm sorry your fish died, but. <laughs> oh, my God. What a pick and choose there. So uh, wait until Dan. I don't know if Dan ever has glass fish. Like glass catfish. I know he has oh, the, the pogey eyes yeah, or whatever those are. Pog Pogwai or whatever. Ploegi. Yeah, that. Or Pluegi. Whatever you want to say. However you want to mm-hmm. say it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Other catfish. Let's take a look. Has he ever had glass cats? Oh, he has. I feel like everybody has glass cats. Crypto. What? It's their scientific name. Crypto. Oh, I was like, crypto? How is that involved? Uh, Yeah. Well, Steven's had his over a year. Well. January 2023. That's how long. It's what a right show over off. A year. <laughs> he needs you to be wrong. You could or probably Steven keep you to be wrong. Uh, San Marcos a tough good kid. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that name. Where? Xenotoka Duradroy. Duadroy. Sure. San Marcos. Xenotoka Duadroy. Duadroy. That's a tongue twister. Uh, best lake for African None. cichlids. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Tell me there's no lakes in the Congo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're all rivers. Gotta you be said some the lakes best there. one, and I said none. I was just joking for Pete's sake. Tanganyikans by far. How can I mean Tanganyikan has everything? Yeah, they have a lot of stuff. Lot you of stuff literally have like there. the world's smallest cichlid and the world's largest cichlid. Uh, in the same lake. I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty Not cool. exactly. They're like number two, but close enough. All right. Close enough, people. All right. That's funny, Zen. Steven, sorry. I was too busy messaging your wife. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Glass oh. cats need to eat four or five times a day. Their digestive tract mm. is less. They probably have an, an insane, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Metabolism? Yeah, metabolism. I, w- I would think, like, of any fish, glass That's cats probably have That's how I feed our satana perca. They eat, I probably feed them five times a day, little bits at a time, and they eat all of it, and they are little chunkers, and I'm so happy because I know it can be very difficult to keep weight on them, so pretty happy about that. See you, Candy. Thanks for stopping by. Always a- appreciate Bye. you hanging out. Off for the night. That's a good way to be. Enjoy your night, Candy. Stephen White has a question for you. Wait, where? Where is it? Was finally able to get a group of head standards. Should a 40 <laughs> breeder be adequate? I'm not going to try to pronounce that one either. Wait, but oh, because I don't even know where it is. But yeah, okay. So which head standards are they? Where is this? Okay, here we go. Got it. Okay, good. Um, Sinapa Telamus Alato Fasciatus. Hang on a second. Oh, that's the oh, red banded Leparanus. Ooh, those get big, don't they? Yeah, I don't think that's a headstander. Mm, it's it is. Um, but I think, but I could be confusing them with another one. Hold on a second. I think I'm confusing them with a different one. Give me like two seconds here to figure this out. See, that's interesting. Uh, Alex says I kill Drayfin barbs within two weeks every time. I've had a different experience. A couple times I've kept them. That's really bizarre. Okay, never mind. I'm confused. They get about they get about four and a half inches, same as okay. Um, how how many did you say? Group, no number. How many? Because if you have less than six, you could, you could. But I will say this: never have I seen a more active group of fish in these head standers, and I just put them in a 125. Those fish use every inch of that entire tank and seem to enjoy it so if i really had to make it like i would suggest doing like a seven if you can do a 75 i don't know if you can but if you can i think they would do better because they really like the length they like to go back and forth ours are constantly moving but i think you could do a 40 because we did have them in a 40 and they were doing good they were they were doing good but i noticed that they were getting a little boisterous so just keep that in mind but all the haplochromus are in Victoria. And I don't like haplochromus because only the dominant male gets color. So it's kind of boring to me. Uh, let's see. I just saw a comment I wanted to read. Why do we not see Mabu and Pea Puffers together? I've wanted to do that for so long, but I wouldn't do it till I had like a 1,200-gallon tank or something yeah, ridiculous. Space, I but I would love to try that. Uh, the world's largest puffer with the world's smallest puffer. Funny. I mean, 
If anyone out there wants a viral video, that's it yeah, right seriously, there. seriously, that would get a lot of views. Yeah, Stephen, six of them, then I think th I would just, if you can do a 75, I would do a 75. Uh, Chelsea, you need to breed uh, peppermint pikehead gouramis. Amazing I fish. I almost got them when the wet spot happened. We almost got some, yeah. But I, I had, and I mentioned this prior, being that they are so shy and that they are ambush predators, we didn't have tanks that they would fit into, and I they need at least a 40, at least. I would say they probably need a 75 or, like, larger. They're sizable. I would love the. I mean, I think those are so cool. So cool. Like, ugh. I really feel like I missed the boat on that, but I'll just have to be patient. So only way says, are there any saltwater puffers that are larger than Mabu puffers? I would say yes, uh, but I'm not sure. And the only reason I would say yes is because every time you hear Mabu puffer being called the largest puffer, it's always freshwater. freshwater puffer, yeah. They don't say largest puffer in the world. They say largest freshwater puffer. And I don't know. Some of those saltwater puffers are like four feet, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if they're puffers or the other the other yeah, 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 yeah. the other ones um, um i'm, I'm thinking like groupers but obviously that's not even close what is it what's the what's the fish that are look like puffer fish i don't know i don't do salt water i know what you're talking about but i don't know cuz i don't care about salt water either <laughs> um, i do want to do a salt water tank one of these days but only for the inverse the largest oh no that's a lie there's that one really huge salt water one but i don't know if it's technically a puffer um i'm just going to look up Cause it's it keeps just saying the mabu, so maybe it is, maybe it is, could be, who knows? Uh, now largest. we're both on it. I know. What is the largest saltwater puffer? Erythron stellatus. The starry puffer. It says is the largest 47 inches <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a four feet yeah oh my thought. god yeah that's a big puffer okay there you go there you have it that's a little bit bigger than a mabu so not extinct extinction status not extinct yeah that's a large fish i'd be a little intimidated by that oh my god yeah it's big it's a big one They look, they can look really intimidating. I know those are just really cute ones, the saltwater ones in like Hawaii that everybody feeds because they like come up to the docks and they look all cute and then everybody makes videos of them, and then people like drop their cell phones in on accident. <laughs> those ones. Um, hmm. I, I asked uh, my pirate friend. Oh my god. <laughs> my my pirate buddy. Oh my god. What's the largest puffer fish in the world? And he's he said Mabu. He said, arg, Mabu. But uh, I said, aren't there saltwater puffers that are larger? He said, arg, you are correct. <laughs> There's a saltwater. <laughs> beat AI. 47 inches is the one you just said. I bet those peas would bite the Mabu. Probably. Peas are, I've said it before. I'm like, they're one of the more aggressive puffers I've kept are the pea puffers. I feel like in large numbers, though, they're not that aggressive. No, in large numbers, they're too distracted by, like, the constant looking at each other. Scene. Leo again says, Bob, you need a Mabu again. And again, I say, give me your credit card. I'll order a tank large enough for one, and I will yeah. then buy myself bada a Mabu. Bada bing, bada boom. I won't even use your credit card for the Mabu. I'll just use it for the $15,000 aquarium that I got to buy. <laughs> $15,000. And then the $10,000 shed I'll have to build to house the aquarium. Oh, porcupine fish is what you were thinking of. There is a the, – the saltwater puffer I don't like is like the dog face puffer. I think I think that's oh, one. Oh, yeah, that's one. Audrey just bought 20 pea puffers. One. Giddy like us. Where'd you get them? Did you get them from Depot? We bought 22. Yeah, they're super cute still. <laughs> they're still darling. Does anyone still quarantine fish that they buy from Dan's fish? I will tell you that Dan will tell you 100% of the times a quarantine fish that you buy from him, but I do not. Yeah, we don't. We I never don't. had one issue. Unless there's something obviously wrong. Yeah. Or if it's a sensitive fish that might have had something happen during shipping. But for the most part, I don't really worry about Alec, it. Alec, you have two Congo spotted puffers with four red eye red tail puffers. Respect. I like that. That sounds cool. What happened? Alec has two uh, spotted Congo puffers with four red eye red tail puffers, hmm. all in the same tank. Throw in some ABI and it's a party. Uh, no, then it's a bloodbath. <laughs> I could see the red eye red tails in the spotted Congos being chill with each other. I like that, but the ABI would just kill them all. That's what I think. Although our ABI are very peaceful with e each other, so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. They're very chill with each other. It surprises me all the time. Bob, you are famous and rich. You are famous. I don't know where this thing gets around that I'm rich. 
But. That's why I married him, because he's rich. <laughs> and boy, were you disappointed. <laughs> Uh, thanks for helping with the Husky Regina. So many irresponsible pet owners. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You're so annoying. Like. What? I don't get it. Uh, I don't what say. happened? Uh, hmm? What? What? Shh. My God. So anyways. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my God. Did I miss something? I don't know. Who what, did what live? No, you don't want to read it. Oh my God. But it did live. Okay. Oh, I don't want to hear. I can't. I don't do well with that kind of stuff. Stars and stripe puffers are cool looking. Mm. <laughs> well, if you quar- if you're one of those people that is quarantine, 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 go ahead. like, but from Dan's, yeah, we did not. We also did not quarantine Candy's fish because <laughs> we weren't worried about that either. Nope. So, if I don't quarantine your fish, you know I trust you. <laughs> like that's a big like. I trust you, and that is rare. Um, space balls. Those ABIs have a level of hold my beer well above even Harry Puffers. <laughs> they are definitely. Um, One of these days, I'm going to get another Harry Puffer. Yeah, but those ABI. I like the A. See, that's the thing is, I like that about the ABI. I feel like they're. I haven't really kept those type of puffers that have that attitude and i really like it it's an it's entertaining you know what i mean like they're beautiful too they're very pretty puffers they kind of remind me of cross rivers like the color a little tiny bit Mm -hmm. yeah like a little mini Mm -hmm. cross rivers yeah i like that especially that one big one yeah the the one that's the i think female that you said looked like a female she definitely has the orange like the little orange spots and i think that is what reminds me of the cross river uh, now, here's a comment I will always agree with. Cameron says, I need Synodonis petricola in my life. Yes, you do. But can but can they live with community <sighs> fish? Yes. As long as you're not keeping them with fish small enough to fit in their mouth, mm-hmm. they will uh, are generally very peaceful fish. Oh, you got them from an aquarium fish sale, Audra? Sweet. <clears throat> Quarantine can be risky. What time in Washington State? 6-11. Dinner time. Oh, is it, did you see? Okay. Zen said that, can we remind people that admins are not allowed to accept members on Facebook if they don't answer both questions? That is, because people, mm. I think, were getting denied, right? You got to answer the Oh, questions. yeah. I deny people all the time. You got to answer the questions. Well, I used to, but now now, now I got mods to do it for me, you know, because I'm rich and famous. Oh, my God. That was so satisfying. That never happens. <laughs> Thank I you. know. I, I, Thank you for that. Thanks. Choose five rainbow fish species to go in a mixed 150 gallon display tank. Kamaka, Parkinsoni, Sahuluensis, <laughs> any Chilotherina just for a different <laughs> body type, and uh, Parkinsoni. You already said Parkinsoni. I, that's how much I like it. <laughs> They're my favorite, okay. so I'm, go- I'm good get with that. Get some of the yellow ones, get some of the orange I'd ones. I'd say just get all Parkinsoni. There you have it. They're my favorite. I love them. I think honestly, five species. I would rather have a lot of one species, yeah. unless you start getting up to like a dozen different species, then that would be cool. Mm-hmm. I'm more of the like that too. I just want more of one because I like the way they act when you see big groups. They act so different, you guys. I can't tell you. I can't stress enough when you have big groups of fish, fish that you wouldn't think necessarily that you need big groups of how different they act. It's very satisfying. <laughs> Uh, the male, yeah, the male red eyes are can be kind of like that. I've noticed it when it comes time to feed. That's funny. Thanks, Mountain Top Puffer Keeper. I was trying to decipher that message. <laughs> Wait, what <laughs> was, was it? Like, the one of the words was like <laughs> no. <laughs> that's um, funny. Cali Tawa. That's a good one. Uh, Marisai. That's another really good rainbow. Um, I, I, I mean, you can't go wrong with a good old fashioned Herbert Axel Rod Eye, mm-hmm. uh, which is. Always one of my top favorites. Hmm. I am certainly not even close to being as famous as Robert Van Winkle. So you leave Rob Van Winkle alone. Mm-hmm. I actually love Robert Van he Winkle, does. and I watch his YouTube channel. So not there you just go. Because they have the same name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and not just because I can do the dance to Ice yeah, Ice Baby. Not just because of that either. But it is in addition to that. Misfired, my bad. It happens. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> no worries. I was like, we don't judge. what is that word? <laughs> so I was Hold thinking the trigger like, a little too I was like, soon. is that a scientific name for a fish or I'm what burgundy. is that? Mm. It happens. It happens. Fellow. <laughs> it reminds Saint, me of Phil Dunphy. Why does that remind Saint me of Phil Diago. Dunphy? <laughs> Saint Diago. Mm. Phil Dunphy is one of the funniest uh, sitcom characters of all time. BT Robert Van, isn't that his name? Robert Van Winkle? Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's such a good name. I don't know. Too cold. I subscribed to Mr. Van Winkle also. Hmm, there you go. Uh, hi, Dan. Are you here? Say something. <laughs> if there's any Dans in chat, please, please say hello. Up. Well, any Dans. Robert Van Winkle. That's a hit. Yep. <laughs> yes, I was going to say, what are we playing the repeater here? What are we it's playing the repeater here? Frick. Frick. We did the Ice Ice Baby dance at my parents' 50th anniversary party, about That's 10 of us. That's good. It's good always day. better in a school. Mm -hmm. A shoal of dancers. <laughs> That's funny. That's Word funny. to your mother. Philosophy. <laughs> Philosophies. <laughs> I just wanted Phil Dunphy. Like, Phil Dunphy is... I want to know Phil Dunphy. I want him to be a real person, and I want to be buddies with Phil Dunphy. He's the best. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. I say that. That is one of my life mottos. That is not the life motto, because I'm always like... Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, he's married. Yes. Ninja. Ninja rap. Oh, my God. Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. Go. Ninja, go. go. Super Shredder. I have to say the other one was better. T U R T L E power. It's pretty good. Teenage pretty, Mutant pretty Ninja good. Turtles. That's such a good movie. It is such. A, it is an amazing. Even movie. the second one is good. I don't care what anyone says. I don't. I just loved all of them because I love Ninja Turtles. No, so the much third one is wanted, just awful. My mom. Time took traveling me to see turtles. It. My mom took me to see it in the theater. We were the only ones there. We I thought bet. more people would come in. We're like waiting. I was little and like we're waiting and we had the whole we had feet up on things. We're throwing popcorn. Like why not? It was good times. If I ever need to get away, Texas is a solid 1,500 miles. Yeah, that's... I'll remember that. Thank you. It's a five-hour flight. Four and a half. God, you should see me on a flight. I'm like... I don't like flying. I'm not a fan. I love it. I, it doesn't... I like takeoff and I like landing, but I don't like being up in the air. The safe part you I don't know, like? I don't care for that part. That's generally how my life goes. I usually like the parts that nobody else likes, but... Because it's me, I'm I'm like claustrophobic. So for me, I want to be able to open a window. I need fresh air and to be in that like, I'm like Marge Simpson. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Say done, <laughs> now say fee, now say it together. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of a few other things that he says that I can't say on here that I really like. <laughs> but slow is smooth and smooth is fast is my favorite. Philosophies. <laughs> That's the best. All right, well, this just took a weird left turn. We went from uh, fish to vanilla ice to Phil Dunphy. Modern Family and maybe bring it back to fish. Yeah, well, what time is it? Bob, if you ever need to get away, <laughs> I'm only four hours away. Bye. Good day, sir. Good day. I don't know what I need to get away from, but. Yeah, I'm fun. I'm fun times. Ninja Turtles and Jurassic Park are tied. Those are two. That's fair. That's a good tie. The first time I saw Jurassic Park, I well, I actually just bought it. Like I had no, I was just like, "There's no way I should not own this. I need to." Own Cameron, this thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hey, Have everybody. a good night. It's been real. Ooh, that's a squeaky sound. Oh. Um, I'm trying to think when the next. We don't have a date for our next Portland trip, but uh, it should be In like a month. The end of next month, maybe ish. Mm-hmm. Sounds right. Ish. I can't remember. A, a attitude or an attitude? Oh, it's getting real now. If it's a vowel or a vowel san sounding, it's an mm -hmm. attitude. I am a stickler for that kind of stuff. A stickler. I used to correct everybody's homework. I was out of Y'all come to Tennessee stick. and stay in our cabin <gasps> for free? What? I need to get to Tennessee one of these days. We're on our way. Yeah, I would love to go to Tennessee. I know so many people that have moved to Tennessee in the last two years. It's wild. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Regina. 
So you're saying you prefer the mount and dismount rather than being in the saddle. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Now, here's a better one. Come to Australia, and I'll let you ride my kangaroo. Okay, I'll get punched in the face by a kangaroo. I'd rather <laughs> box are, a kangaroo. I was going to say, those things are terrifying. They're I'll, so buff. I'd get destroyed, but yeah, at least I would. could say I did it. There's an episode of The Mighty Boosh where he boxes a kangaroo. It doesn't go well. It does not go well. If anybody's ever seen The Mighty Boosh, I'd love to know about it. Road trip. Well, Leo, I can tell you the next time we're going to we're gonna be there. If you want to drive up, that's your problem. Oh, yeah, we're going to be there. We're <laughs> going to be there in the next few months, so I'll tell you that. Yes, Nancy, that is accurate. They, that is, I'm sorry for that. I apologize. I'm sorry all those fools moved to Tennessee and ruined it. But I moved to Washington, so the mass exodus continues. We have horses, but you have goats. I love goats. I want goats so bad. So bad. Uh, do you think moss balls will be available again? Yes, you can already buy them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure the co-op got some in. Yeah, not too long I've ago. seen them multiple places since the whole ban happened. Too bad Candy just left. She could have. I know. Could have said something. <laughs> Who totes risk chlamydia for a koala hug? Just saying. I forgot about that. That's so funny. Koalas have chlamydia. And they're stoned all the time. They are. Yeah, kangaroos. Oh, a wallaby. So I had Queensland healers growing up, and no one knew what they were, and so the only way I could describe them was dingoes. I was like, remember the whole dingo ate your baby? That's my dog. <laughs> That's what I have. He was very, very much a, he was a funny guy. He used to herd children. I'm looking into the moss ball situation here. Yeah, I bet you Tennessee's all full up. I can believe that with the amount of people moving there. It just doesn't it doesn't solve anything for everybody to move to the same place, does it? It's crazy. Balls. No goats. Oh, mini donkeys. Somebody not far from us has mini donkeys. I just saw them today. They're so cute. <laughs> so I have a few months until the next purchase of oddball fish. Yeah, you got maybe a month, buddy. Better start counting down. Get a tank ready. You got like T minus sold out days. What? Moss balls. Oh. Oh, you have a dog named Dingo? It's a good name. Heard goat milk is good. It's really, I love drinking goat milk. It's so good. It's very expensive, I but it's really good. It's disgusting. So good. I love I it. I don't drink any milk. It's sickening. It's cow boob juice. It's animal boob juice. I want, I'll take almond boob juice. <laughs> I actually like the way it uh, tastes. Leo says, I'll have to, you'll have to bring me a, if, hey, if you want to drive up, to the wet spot next time we're there, I would bring you a co-op tank. Is he talking about driving to the wet spot? Yes. Holy hell. That's a drive. He just did it last year. That's a drive. I love goat eyes. That's part of my favorite like thing about them. I love their eyes. They're wild looking. Oh, Jessica says, hey, guys, I started following you recently. I got to say I like you guys, and I laugh at, <laughs> at Bob's dry humor. Yeah, I don't know wifey too well yet. Well, that's fair enough. It's a very yin yang type of situation here. My humor is very dry. Her, she's just wet. Wait, that didn't sound right. Her humor is wet. That's his humor. That this is my life. <laughs> I swear that life. was an accident. I married him, right? <laughs> I'll tell myself that. I'll see myself out. Thank you very much. Yeah, buy a goat. <sighs> I want a goat, but you have to have more than one. You can't have one goat. That's not nice. Baby hippos. Uh, baby elephants are actually pretty darn cute, Please too. tell me someone else has seen the baby monkey, like, uh, backwards on a pig, like, riding backwards on a pig. There's a whole video about a baby monkey riding backwards on a pig, and there's a song that goes with it, and I really hope someone else has seen this. It's one of the cutest things ever. Hey-o! <laughs> yeah. I like the chat, because it comes in about a minute after. Yeah, I was going to say, I know what he's saying, <laughs> hey too. I got it. I made the connection. Thank you. I dissected a lamb's eye as well, Zenny. I did that. I was very good at dissecting. I did a squid, a lamb's eye, a frog, and then there was something else, I think, but I did a good job. I, I got like 100% on everything. I really enjoyed it. It was really interesting. Really interesting. But uh, Regina says, spots. I used to milk goats. They were so smart. They let me know their feed was low and threatened to kick the milk bucket over. Cows didn't care. I just need goats to eat all of my sticker bushes. Mm-hmm. I don't think I could dissect a cat. 
I think I, I don't want to dissect anything. I, I liked the eyeball. The eyeball was interesting. The squid was cool because part of like getting 100% was you had to get the quill out and dip it in the squid ink and write your name with it. And I was like, I can do that. I was never in a class where we, we were required to dissect something. Really? Interesting. Mm-hmm. I was in eighth grade, seventh and eighth grade. I was in advanced classes, though. They had I We did stuff that people didn't do in the other classes. <laughs> Sleep lightly, Bob. <laughs> never. Yeah. <laughs> if I if if he's going in his sleep, he's not going to know about it at all. It's just going to happen, like because I'm I'm awake all the time. Caitlin so. said I had goats growing up. They were super fun. I was late to school one day though because my girl was not cooperating when I was trying to milk her. Well, hey, where is she didn't excuse eat your homework? Ever? <laughs> I mean, I just didn't go to school and I made no excuse, and I was like, this sucks. I don't oh my know. gosh, the fainting goats. I could never have fainting goats because I would just be trolling them all day long. It's so funny. It's so funny. I forget what type I like. There's a type of goat that I like. I think it starts with an A, but they're larger. I really like them. We dissected it and then ate it. Nice. The frog was my least favorite because it smelled bad. It was really, like, once you got inside of it, even though it was preserved technically, it did not, it smelled terrible really bad the fat the fat cells they really stunk i think that's what it was was the fat yeah and what was weird is i'm so uh, i'm such a bleeding heart animal fanatic i couldn't believe that but i love science and dissect seeing things like that i was like oh my god give it to me (laughs) i'll do it no problem oh a pig uterus with baby pig i I might try i think i draw there's an episode of bob's burgers where tina has to dissect a fetal pig I don't think I could do it. I don't think so. A high school friend had a nanny oh. goat who attacked me. Oh, boy. Me. They are they can be a little bit uh, persnickety, also, I've heard. Jennifer says she rode a camel. Not nice. a lot of fun. It doesn't seem like something. It like, looks uncomfortable, frankly. And boring. Yeah. Like, like really and slow. I feel, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I feel bad riding certain animals. I'm like, I don't, I don't have the need to, and I don't need to do it just to get a laugh or to have fun. Like, I don't need it. You know what I mean? I feel bad for them. Like, Ew, we got a fish question. Where? I have a Pleco question. Ah. I adopted two common goldfish. I have a 30-something-ish gallon tank they're in. I put my Pleco in today. Seems fine, but is it too cold? No. Depends on... Well, yeah, what kind of Pleco is it? Yeah, it depends on what type of Pleco. Is it a common Pleco? Or is it like a bushy nose Pleco? Because if it's a bushy nose, I mean, either way. Yeah, the common Pleco, I hope it's not a common Pleco. I saw the common goldfish, so I don't know. I would like automatically just assume common pleco. Uh, room temperature, but again, depending on the type of pleco. Oh, I'm not body shaming frogs. I love frogs. I've kept frogs. Uh, I, they just stink. <laughs> I would say if it's a common pleco, probably because those things live in some pretty yeah. crazy situations. Very cold. And um, weird bushy nose plecos could go cooler. Mm-hmm. Uh, rubber lip plecos can go a little cooler. I love rubber lip plecos. I had. I really like mine. Uh, Steven said I had pygmy goats uh, a few years ago. Have ridden both camels and elephants. I've ridden an elephant. See, I could I could get down on an elephants elephant. Elephants are. I feel less bad about that. I guess they're very strong. Like the elephants are. The elephants that I rode were very calm and like very sweet. I've had really nice elephant experiences. Uh, Jessica, Jessica says I have a small pleco. Well, that's usually how common plecos start. They start out real teeny tiny, and then they get real big. Yeah, you'd really have to try to ID the the specific type you have of a, pleco. Yeah, I was gonna say you need like is it? It's hard, too hard to even. Yeah. Um, it. You could go. I don't know if you have Facebook, but I have a Facebook group, Seen Fought Aquatics. If you wanted to post a picture of it there, mm-hmm. there's lots of people there that I'm, that would uh, be able to identify it pretty easily. The only weird animal I've been attacked by, really, is a goose and a seagull. Like, f- birds. Because of food in the Bay Area, the seagulls will kill you. They don't care. <laughs> They'll kill you, and they will take your clam chowder. <laughs> like, it's wild. Matt says, I have 30-plus Pseudomagilla Pseudom- Illuminatus fry growing out. That is awesome. That's I may really rehome cool. just a few to keep and keep a most mm. and have a 20 full of them. It would be so cool to have a massive, giant yeah. shoal of any pseudomagill but the luminatus is my favorite yeah sows are big that's got to be a little <laughs> intimidating uh camels are huge i know they can run really fast but that's usually not how you write them plus pigs eat people and can digest bone we've all seen snatch right and silence of the lambs and deadwood and deadwood 
and other pig eating situations or pig people eating what? situations. You're trailing off there. Because I'm talking about pigs eating mm-hmm. people, so some people might not want to hear about it. Because <laughs> I'm plan on doing it to somebody someday, <laughs> so I gotta keep it quiet. Uh, just because says I, I have another question. Thanks, guys. I got a paradise girl on me. Uh, and it's real aggressive. It's alone in my mm. five gallon with, uh, in my room with a quarry. It's room temperature as well. That's fine that it's room temp because they can take colder temps. But is it, who's it aggressive towards the quarry? Probably because there's only one. If there's one other fish in the whole tank, it is going to be very aggressive towards it. It's and the quarries don't it. like being alone either. They're mm-hmm. very social fish. So uh, my recommendation, if you got more quarries, he'd probably leave them alone. Because I've kept paradise fish with quarries and I didn't have an issue. But... You'd probably want a bigger tank. Yeah. It's a five gallon? Yeah. For a paradise fish, 20 at least. 20 gallons for a paradise fish. I I love paradise fish. I am someone who, I don't care how boring they are, cheap they are. I think paradise fish are so cool, and I love the black ones. I think they're all cool. I've kept them. They do have attitude. In community tanks, they can work in the correct community tank, but they need bare minimum 20. 20 high. Not even 20 long. 20, 20 high. Because they like, they like to stay up high. So... And also, it just so happens that both PetSmart and Petco are having half off their fish tanks right now. There you have it. So you can get a 20-gallon for like $25 if you have the room for You'll it. You'll love it, too. Like, they, lo- they love to swim around. They're really enjoyable in larger tanks. Really enjoyable. I think people think they get, like, better size. They're definitely larger. Like, they need a little more space, and they use the space. So uh, The fish guy says, is Corydoras a Dolphi, a hardy quarry cat? I would consider it to be. Um, not like a peppered, not that hardy, but um, definitely one. I would say I would consider it hardy. Oh wait! Oh, you took okay. So maybe you took it out of a tank where it was harassing other fish. Okay, I see. Xanadu says I have twenty luminatus and a twenty long, ten aru twos and another twenty long, and a couple rare strains. I just love Sunu McGill's. Whoa, PetSmart is having a sale too. Yes, PetSmart has joined Petco and having the 50% off sale. Shocking. Um, and now both locations do the five gallon and two and a half gallon, whereas previously Petco did not. I prefer Aquion tanks to Top Fin tanks, and PetSmart has Top Fin and Petco has Aquion. That's just a personal preference. So here we go. Dennis with a ten dollar super chat. Thank, Thank you so sir. much. We appreciate it. it. Says, should I try to breed Nanochromus <laughs> transvestitis or Splendids? Well, I would say Splendids yeah. just because you'll have an easier time getting rid of them. Mm-hmm. Um, should I start with a neutral soft pH and how long to bring it down to two five point five? Yeah, what's he chewing on? I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to lay down. Oh. Okay. He's trying to make himself comfortable. And with what? Peat or Indian leaves themselves, and how many? Well, how many is going to be almost oh, impossible to answer. Um, I would bring it down over – I wouldn't do it quickly. I would say I would t- make it slowly over the span of like a month or two, bring it down. And as far as how many, it doesn't really matter, right? It's You just keep adding until you get to where you want. So add some, give it a week if you need to go lower, add a little more. And then just, just keep adding a little more, and eventually you'll hit that sweet spot. The trick is to not go too far too quick. There. Yeah. And that could, that can be more problematic than anything. So bottom fin and aqua off. <laughs> um, and to be honest, to get to five and a half, you'll probably have to use peat eventually. Yeah, um, you can so. start with Indian leaves and see if you can get there. But, I mean, I don't know what, how, what your tap water is like. Man, um, I've, I've put a lot of catapa leaves in and, and not reached low enough and i was starting at seven i didn't even have that far to go and i was dumping in so many and it was doing nothing so i think yeah pete might be the way you go there um i i would say the splendid is probably easier to breed so i guess if you're looking for more of a challenge probably transvestitis but splendids are so beautiful God, they're they're splendid. just just a phenomenal fish they, they and, and i the, love the the transvestitis too, cool too but it's hard to beat the splendids, splendids i think are the prettiest of of the nanochromis they have a, such nice color uh lately here so many reports of petco aquion tanks leaking compared to when i got my 55 there eight years ago mm, yeah the older tanks are, i'm sure are i haven't really seen a rise in that myself um but i just think everything pre-covid was better 
or like or you know what I mean like now I think everything's crap I don't know it's all mad like everything seems to just be of more I don't know it breaks more I would uh, definitely inspect your tanks when you buy them fill them don't fill them all the way up <laughs> I mean when you when you're at the store look at the silicone mm -hmm. Um, look at the, the look at the fit and finish. I've literally taken pictures of like the glass being off by a quarter inch, which oh is my ridiculous. God. Yeah. There's no, there's huge um, gaps and stuff in some of these tanks. So yeah, definitely do your due diligence when you're buying these tanks. Because I've done the whole like order online and pick up in store to get the discount for tanks, and then I get there and I look at the tank they pulled me, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. I'll take that other one, thank you very much. And, I'll and go sometimes get it. it's like they use. 10 tubes on one 10 gallon tank and it's just it's gobs so of silicone gobs everywhere. It. It's, and see, that's not, yeah. that is, I look for the gobs because I feel like there's your weak point. Cause that stuff starts to peel up and that pulls on, like you want it to be super flush and like, up, it, you think like, Oh, more is better. No, more is not better. It's not better. So Jessica, I, mean, I don't know what finessing a filter is. But it sounds like you're looking for alternatives to, like, the cartridges that you buy, which are overpriced and it's such a waste of money. Don't buy those. Um, depending on what you're using your filter for, like, I just use hang-on backs for mechanical. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I just go to Walmart or wherever, and I buy some batting, and I just put batting right into the back. That's it. I don't, I don't use it for biological. Um, I don't use it for chemical filtration. Only mechanical. So that's all I put in my hang-on backs. That's all you really need, unless you're, you know what I mean? Like, the only other thing I could think of is you could put some charcoal or, like, activated charcoal if you needed to, to, like, you know what I mean? But that's not even really necessary. Caitlin says, I went to three to four Pecos before finding a decent 75. <laughs> See? Yep. It's rough out there. Uh, make your own tank. Well, you could, but it's always going to be cheaper to buy one at the half-off sale here. Not in Australia. The glass is way more expensive for some reason, but here... Mm -hmm. It's always so if you can find one like to me, it just uh, I can buy a 10 gallon tank for like 12 bucks. Yeah. But to go buy the parts, it's going to be more than that. Not to mention the time putting it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, qual the quality of everything has slipped severely. So I had four 40 breeder tanks leak in the last six oh, months. Wow. Two on the sides and two bottoms went out. Oh, I'd be so Oof. pissed. That's crazy. I mean, how old were the tanks? Yeah, those are like new dollar per gallon tanks. I, I would be, I'd be at that store. Or, well, not the store. I guess it's a manufacturer thing at that point. But you know what I mean. That's a BS. Uh, what do you use for? I don't need the other type of filtration. So chemical filtration, I only need that when I use medications, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, mechanical, obviously, I like to get all the crap out of the tank. So that's yeah. what I use it for. Um, what am I, why am I drawing a blank here? Oh, biological filtration. Oh. Uh, we have enough there's media and things that have plenty of that on the there. The beneficial bacteria grows on everything in your aquarium. Everything. Every single piece of gravel, every single piece of sand, every piece of wood. Yep. Um, I think it's a very... What what am I trying to say here? I think it's... A, I think the that certain manufacturers have caused a lot of issues and a lot of unneeded problems trying to sell these cartridges. You just, mm -hmm. the biological media, especially in a, in a seasoned tank that's been set up for six months to a year, like, you just don't need it. It's it's not needed. And I now, just throw those away, those packs. Again. When would you need a lot of biological f filtration? Like, if you're breeding fish, right, yeah. and you've got 300 fry in a 20-gallon tank. So obviously, then, okay, we might need some. African tanks. We too. might need some additional. But for most of us, We've got live plants that are eating the fish poop, getting rid of nitrates. Um, and it's just, I think a lot of people worry about it when it's just, it's just a waste of time. There's no need to worry about There's it. There's other things I'd worry about way more before I'd worry about Get that. Get your test kit, test your water, trust it. And just, if, you, if you're new, I can understand how it'd be harder. Um, but you'll get to a point... If you stick with it long enough, well, you you can just look at it and know that something's wrong, or you can smell the water and something is off, yeah. right? You'll get to those points. Or you, you know, this is one thing I love about live plants is live plants will tell you everything you need to know. If something's going wrong with your plants, Oof. then something is going wrong for sure. And I'm not talking about like going out and buying some fifty dollar super high tech plant, throwing it in your low tech and having it die. No, 
if your Nubia starts dying, if your jungle, you know, if stuff if stuff's starts dying, then you've got problems. Yeah, Jessica, if you want clear water, batting. That's that'll get you clear water. If that's your big concern with like the me- the mechanical filtration, the batting will pull all the little particles out of the water, and your water will be clear. So that's what you and, want. And and charcoal. Not really going to do much for you for clear water. If you had medications or something you're trying to pull out of your water, charcoal will act as like a, it basically soaks it up. So that, that's like what you would do after you treat it or something. But if you just want clear water, batting will get you that for sure. And charcoal will also get rid of other contaminants as well. Charcoal, I mean, charcoal is um, good. I like charcoal. I like activated charcoal. Activated charcoal. charcoal will also get rid of fertilizers. Mm-hmm. So if you're using fertilizers for your plants, then you don't want to use charcoal. In the water column. But yeah, if I, w- I would definitely look into batting. It's mm-hmm. what it it's what everyone uses for cr- crystal clear and water. Yeah, Curtis Lava Rock that works well. Lots of surface. And my other advice Space would be stay course. away from chemicals. It's so yeah. overwhelming when you walk into a fish store and there's a whole aisle of all these different chemicals that are just not needed. Mm-hmm. Batting, so like what you put in like pillows. So you'd go to like the 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 quilting section of a Walmart or wherever their fabric is. And there be like, for, so there's loose batting. I would not get that. You can buy it in rolls. It's way easier yeah. uh, to manage if it's in rolls. But it's that same fluffy material that's in pillows. And you have to make sure that like it's not fire retardant. So you want like the cheapest of the cheap you can find. Uh, polyfill. Yeah, polyfill mm-hmm. is what it's called. And, yeah, and again, nice. no fire retardant because those chemicals will kill your fish. So just plain polyfill. Yep, that big... The untreated batting from Walmart. I think that's what we have right now. <laughs> no plants. I can't kill everyone at once. That's You'll get there. Reasonable. You'll get there. Batting versus polyfill. What do you call it? <laughs> What's your word? Thank you very much, Leslie. Leslie Pair of the five dollar super chat. Thank you so much. We that's appreciate funny. it. Brian says, "Hey, Bombacy. I think you should put multis in your big tote and then sell them to Dan. <laughs> A video about that whole process would be awesome. I agree, but I could do the same thing with the pistos." And then sell the epistos to Dan. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know what? If I don't do it this year, I'll do it next year. Because every year I try something new in the tubs. Mm-hmm. So, and I might just, tubbing. and I could do, and I, and I could still do multis in like one of my smaller tubs. So I still got, I've got so many 150 gallon tubs. Like I didn't even use them all last year. I got to, I gave them away. Uh, Why well, didn't give them away? But I sold 150 gallon tubs for forty dollars. Like that's Thanks, nothing. The batting is in rolls is easier to work with than loose, fluffy polyfill. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, that's my last trip. Messy. I bought the wrong one. Oh, we I have that. So we angry, have right now. <laughs> but I refuse to waste it. It's so. just polyester, is all it is, and they have yeah, it's a five dollars at Walmart. Um, it's just polyester. That's all it is. You don't want cotton. You know, and you want it. Nothing else added. No color. No dye. No any type of chemicals. Just polyester. That's yep. I buy my I buy my poly filter from Wally World. So do I. It's a lot. Of, it's it's six dollars. He says, "Yeah, but I want to buy multis from Dan." <laughs> well, Reasonable. honestly, I would just cut out the middleman and ship you some freaking multis and sell them to you myself. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Which, I mean, whether we do it or not, we could probably do it. I mean, it's just a matter of time till we have a billion little multis. So. Poly filter that takes the chemicals. Yes, again, just bare bones, the cheapest one. It's at Walmart. It's like 5 or $6, and uh, it's the stuff works really well, Yeah, it does. really, really well. And on that note, we're going to call it a night. We've been going almost two hours, which is way longer than we normally do, and uh, it's been fun. Very, uh, very good discussions tonight. It's been real. Yeah, I got a tub from Bob waiting for the weather to warm up so I can throw some Madaka outside. That's a nice thing. Once they're outside, you can just keep them outside. No bringing them in. Celine, you got to see the babe. I want, wait, I went back to plants I had as a kid. Uh, Kambamba, hornwort, low light, doesn't need fancy ferts. Yep. (laughs) But the fancy ferts will make them, uh, you know, grow a little faster. I know. I'm being told to suck it up. Suck it up. Good night. Suck it up. Good night. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. I hope you had fun, as we always do. And as always, we will see you next week, Monday, 5 p.m. PST. Except the members, we will see a little earlier at 3.30 p.m. PST. 
night, everybody. Uh, any final words? Go buy some fish, guys. Go buy fish. I will say that's all I want. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheese it up a little oh, here, I think, and I'm gonna say, and I'm, I'm stealing this, obviously, right? This is not my own, but I'm gonna say, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. That's that's what I'm signing off with. Be kind. Good night, everybody.